I, I was very interested, uh, Ash, uh, in the report. You made it clear that we could have used American forces, massive American forces, and gone in and much more quickly taken uh, uh, Mosul in Iraq and taken Raqqa in Syria, but that that would have been a strategic mistake. It would have been a strategic mistake, and here, here's why, and that's why I call this a lasting defeat, and I use that those two <coughs> words next to each other hundreds and hundreds of times. And I was trying to drill in the idea of, of what our strategic approach was. And it was to uh, not go in our, and be the infantry ourselves. And David, the reason that, that why that would have been a strategic blunder is this. Uh, first of all, if we went in, those who would, who, uh, in, in the population who were inclined to fight ISIS or at least to sit on the sidelines may have decided that we were the problem. Second, we would then be as infantry fighting on their terms, not our terms. Yeah. Where we're, we are superior is in intelligence and air power and fires and logistics <laughs> in uh, uh, training and equipping, rapid maneuver, and we're just the equals of somebody on the ground in a foreign in a in a foreign city that we don't speak the language. So we'd be ceding the critical military advantage. And third, and most importantly, we would then be the owners of Mosul. That didn't work out mm -hmm. before. Uh, it, it, somebody has to govern these places. So if you want defeat to be lasting, it has to be achieved by people who live there. That's a more laborious process and wherein you organize, train, inspire, and equip that infantry, and then you bring the huge whirlwind of the United States and its allies like a tornado circling down to bear to support them on the ground. That is the strategic approach we yeah. used to seizing Mosul and Raqqa. And what it meant that was that when we got to Mosul, the people who were on the ground were people who lived in and around the area. And when we got to Raqqa, the people who were in possession of the ground were people who lived in and around. They were more likely to be accepted by the local population uh, than Americans. They were more likely to <coughs> induce the local population to resist ISIS as long as it was there and help assist in its expulsion. And they're more likely, if they feel that it has made their lives better and that they own their city, to stop son of ISIS from coming back. And that, you know, if, if that happens, we'll all be back where, where we were. So it was a necessary strategic approach. 